court is granting the, the, ex, the continuance of the temporary restraining order. Judge the Jacob James Cunningham continuing the temporary restraining order, preventing county prosecutors from bringing charges against doctors and nurses who provide abortions. A victory for the Democratic prosecutors who say they refuse to enforce Michigan's 1931 abortion ban. Patients, providers, doctors across the state now have some certainty uh, moving forward. On Monday, the Court of Appeals ruled a state court injunction in place since May did not apply to county prosecutors, setting the stage for what some called confusion and chaos, with some county prosecutors wanting to enforce the ban while others would not. That's when Governor Gretchen Whitmer filed an emergency motion for a temporary restraining order that was granted almost immediately and then continued in court on Wednesday. David Coleman represents the prosecutors from Jackson and Kent counties seeking to enforce the law. He wanted the temporary restraining order thrown out. People will not accept folks in judicial robes by fiat making decisions in this area. It needs to come through the people and through the legislative process so it at least most people will accept it. The Attorney General's office arguing the enforcement of the abortion ban creates irreparable harm for women and physicians. Oakland County Prosecutor Karen McDonald also addressing the court. I'm concerned about medical providers, but you know what I'm really concerned about? I'm concerned about my 12-year-old rape victim that won't know whether or not she can go to a medical professional and end that pregnancy because it was a result of rape. I'm concerned about women who are confused and the chaos that's going to cause. But attorneys for Right to Life Michigan and the Michigan Catholic Conference argue there is other irreparable harm. 1,700 innocent preborn lives are lost to abortion in Michigan every month, and those are lives that the, the court did not take any consideration of today. It's, it's hard to imagine a more irreparable harm. I'm someone who was conceived in rape. I literally owe my birth to the 1931 law, which protected me. The next hearing is in two weeks. In Pontiac, Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.